a little triplet here. It's got a wee wriggle on, so we know it's alive. Get this in here to show you. Good morning, sheep fans. Cammy's the name, Sheep's the Game. It's day three of the lambing videos. I'm a little bit late in starting you this time because nothing was happening this morning, but it, it's all kicking off now. We have a little triplet here, just coming out the back door. Good sized triplets there, more about their time, I would say. than the ones we had before. No, it's fine, it's fine. Vicky's been uh, in doing her best here, running the show. We've been getting hogs back off for the wintering. What else do we have on the go? That was the triplets. They're still here. That's them in three days now. They've been in the pens. We did have one unfortunate event here. We've had a, a stillborn lamb. Vicky actually lambed this mm -hmm. one and it's come out stillborn. Mm -hmm. And I see it's mm -hmm. very full of the gut there, water, and it's belly. These things do happen. She's got one good lamb there. We'll leave her as is, she's just a little gimmer. So this girl here that's had the this, this dead lamb that's come out of her, she's just a little gimmer, but she's marked for a three. So we're just gonna have a look in here. Okay. So we'll just try and pop it out while she's standing up, I think would be the best bet. So the last one was dead, so that's not good. And this one's uh, coming backwards. So it's got a wee wriggle on, so we know it's alive. So we'll get it out. Like that there. And there we go. A little bit of fluid in the belly of this one too, but it's got a bit of a kick about it, so. See if mum will turn around and see it there. She's just looking a wee bit sorry for herself. That's it, mum. That's it. Come on, mummy. You're fine. You're a good, big, strong kick there. Let's see you again. There you go, good sneeze. That's what I like to see. Let me just see you up here. Quite often when they're coming backwards like that, they can get a lot of fluid down into the lungs and the belly. So this just helps kind of shake some of that out. Oh, it's breathing all right there. It's doing grand, Mum. Have a look at that one. Let's have a look at that one, Mum. Heads up already. It's a wee bit soft, that lamb, so it's going to take a wee while just to be... get about itself. Quick look round the girls here. And it's all okay. You are a big girl for a single. And you have a lovely lug on you there. Good. So we have a, a gimmer here, a Cheviot Mule gimmer that's had triplets that you saw earlier. And we had that little problem, one was dead. She had the one that had drowned, or I believe it had drowned inside her potentially a breach coming backwards or the umbilical cord snapped and it's not had a chance to get out and get a breath of fresh air. The other two have come out but they're just not just not quite at the time. Either that or she's just not been eaten quite right. Um, prior to coming into the shed there was a handful of these that weren't and I thought I'd picked them all out but I've maybe brought her in because she's a triplet which can have a negative effect. So she's not got a lot of milk there. There is some colostrum coming through, very thick but not much, and as you see here with the lambs, they're just a little bit, I'd maybe call them, we'd maybe call them here silly lambs, so they're just 
a little bit weak, especially this one. That's a good lamb there. That lamb's absolutely fine there. And it's in having a look at the teat, and I've no doubt it's had something. I'm just not so sure this one's had something. So we're going to colostrum them both, because colostrum is king. I'm just going to say that, or queen, we'll say queen. Colostrum is queen. And I always think if you're going to do one thing right at lambing time, give your lambs colostrum, or make sure they've had colostrum. Don't give them it, you know, just make sure they've had it, because quite often they'll just get it from the mum. But I'm just not sure that these ones are, because there's not much coming there. If she stands for a second, I might just get this in here to show you. There's not much of a bag on her at all. There, right lass. See that there? Just coming out quite thick. Now the thickness isn't an issue. If there's plenty of it, it's not an issue at all. Good thick colostrum like that, I'd imagine quite high quality. If it was thin, that's more of a concern. But the fact that there's so little coming out there and it's going to be so hard for the lambs to suckle that out and they're quite weak lambs. If I give them a belly full just now, I know they've had it and it gives them the best possible start in life. So Vicky, the legend, she's just bringing me a couple hundred mil and we'll give them a dose each, a colostrum, which should really pet them up and give them a boost. Although they're looking lively enough just now and I've no doubt they've had a little something. It's not enough. You're right, you don't, you don't need, you can just get involved. I think this wee guy's, oh, he's maybe had something there. I know, I know. A wee black eye. I, say, I was saying to everybody the Chief 8 meals are great because they'll leave nice white faced lambs. Hey, right, I'll take, I'll tell you, we could just fill this up, eh? I like it when it goes down nice and easy like that. That's us. Mm -hmm. Right, Lammy. I've just thought I'm away at a camera shot there. I'll do the next one on camera shot. No silly questions, only silly answers. Right, okay, okay. See when you're doing that. Uh -huh. If the tummy's at capacity, uh -huh. does it just come flying back up the tube and out? Like you, you can't over. Uh, the vet said the other day. I just found this out. I didn't know this, but you can't overfill them with colostrum. They just suck it back up. So if if you, that's actually a good one for you guys. If I could just ask a really good question here about when's too much for them. Um, for giving your lambs uh, colostrum and she was asking about the belly being full and actually I'm answering you this as well but I'm looking at the camera but uh, I, I was just hearing that I always thought you know but you don't want to overfill them because it might make them a bit sick or a bit bloated uh, sick means sick by the way so uh, sorry it's not there is it's also a religion but in sure it means sick but uh, <laughs> if uh, you overfill them you can make them a bit ill and I always thought that but I was finding it the other day from someone at the vet I believe this to be true because it came from a vet is that you can't overfill them because well you can but if you do it's fine they'll just uh, throw it back up essentially oh so the bulk it doesn't basically bulk it, it apparently not apparently because that's what gives me fear because like, well apparently this chap uh, asked the vet you know same story he was worried about putting too much in the vet said to him you can't put too much in oh, okay. well you can sorry you, don't worry about putting too much in because if you do the lamb will just get rid of it anyway so I know I thought that was really interesting. Yeah, I'll just start doing the mark. Don't, don't set that down the ground in between lots. Yeah, I'll go do this wee silly lamb. <coughs> Again, I call it a silly lamb, but actually it's it's just an expression just we use. Just the rest of it in? Aye, just, I'll just do uh, 150 again if I left mm. a wee splash hole. I think that'll be So that's the wee lamb we're talking about. It's it's had a wee scoot of that jump start stuff. And if you just hold your lamb and just feel its belly like that, you can feel, you can have a go. You can feel it's, it's just empty. And that's actually, <sighs> There is a, you know, you can hold it like this and all that kind of stuff, but I just find it so much easier if you just hold a lamb up like that and just gently squeeze with your hands like this. You can feel, it takes a bit of experience, but you, you can just tell that that lamb's so empty. What to do is look at one that you can clearly see is full and pick it up and compare the difference and you'll see uh, quite easily the obvious difference. Okay, that I can't hold down. I'll try and get this one on camera this time. So, as I think, you can't really go too wrong with tubing. You can obviously put it down into the their lungs but in fairness it's quite obvious and if you started putting it down it's in its lungs you'll realise quite quick and quite often the, the milk won't actually go down mm. although with these kind of bottles you, you kind of squeeze it down um, mm. which isn't ideal I can get myself on a fanco but generally a, a good wee tip is actually if you dip the end of the tube in some milk 
and just sort of sit, let it sit in its tongue for a second, let it start soaking and then start feeding it down. It works fine. I'm just very gently putting a wee bit of pressure on this bottle just to... I don't know why they make them like this. It used, I actually preferred with a syringe and it had the hole at the top and the gravity just fed it down, but I don't know, this is just what the fashion seems to be just now. Right, that's plenty for you. And you'll feel straight, almost straight away, because it's tubing straight into the belly, you'll feel straight away uh, the difference here. You want to feel it again, Vicky? It's just... So you can just feel there's something there. It's almost like more springy and, ah. and you know more bouncy. It's almost like you're jibbling the water, the the milk about. Mm -hmm. You do that now. Let's give that one's navel a wee spray again. It's some iodine. There shouldn't be a lot of bacteria in these pens yet, as is anyway. But just while I've got a hold it there, and it is a, it is a little bit of a weaker lamb. I'll just get a wee bit extra. No, I'll bore it like that. That's fine. I'm just doing a, a video every day, so I'm going to have this camera all the time. I'm going to try and do one every day. No, don't worry, by the way, you'll be in it loads, I would think, if uh, I'm doing one every day. Hey, here's my thing on. Test, test. Yeah, well, you, you could hold the camera. Good morning, sheep fans. 